everybody, it's Brian with you from the Game Common, and today we are starting our brand new Civ 6 Deity Let's Play series. So, recently our AI only championship series, which had gone on for like a month there, uh, just finished, and uh, we said that the winner of that series would be the one that we would play as in our new Deity series. Well, surprisingly, Brazil was the one that came out on top. Now, me and Brazil have some issues with each other. Uh, the funny thing is, I feel like every Every time I play this game I always end up with Brazil like right on my borders uh, and they always declare an early surprise war on me and it's just like it's just funny to me because uh, Brazil is one of my least favorite civs because of that so there's a little bit of irony now that I'm playing as Brazil so I guess we just need to find an early neighbor and declare war on them right but anyways it's a little surprising Brazil actually won the championship series because I don't think anyone would say that Brazil's one of the better civs and in fact the grand final they ended up beating out uh, uh, Mongolia, they beat out Germany, and they beat out Russia. They got a uh, religious victory, but they also were going to get a score victory too, which is kind of crazy to me that they were able to do that. So, quick note before we get started, I have no mods on right now. The only mod I have on is the quick start mod, which just basically starts my game a little bit quicker. So we're doing a pretty vanilla gameplay for you guys. I just didn't want to change things up too much with mods. We are going to be playing Didi, so that means there may be a restart if we end up loading in and there's no production or we have someone right on our butts or we're in a tundra tile or something like that then we're probably going to end up uh reloading but for now we'll roll with that the other thing is i did talk about doing a tsl uh map the issue is the only one that would spawn near us would be mapuche in south america so and mapuche is actually really easy to block off as brazil and then you have like the entirety of south america as well as central america to kind of colonize depending on like what teddy does and i don't know i just feel like it's going to be a little too easy so instead we're going to do a completely shuffle map which is i like playing because it's completely random i have no idea what it's going to look like um and you know i'm basically loading the game in with you guys so i have no idea what we're getting ourselves into so this should be uh rather interesting we may end up failing with the start too we'll have to see and then we might just try again i don't know we'll try so here's our game random seed here's the map random speed uh we have all the victories enabled and i think everything's good to go right yeah, we're not really changing anything. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to mute uh, Sean so I can talk for a bit. So my plan with this is I want to do a cultural victory. Uh, the reason I want to do a cultural victory is because of Magnanimous, which is their special ability for Brazil. After recruiting or patronizing a great person, 20% of its great person cost is refunded to you. So my goal is to do a... Um, cultural victory with a lot of religious gameplay as well primarily because they tend to synergize very well but then also with magnanimous anytime we purchase a great person with faith we're going to get uh, a, a boost or we're going to get part of it refunded and if i can go ahead and get an early religion and then get an early pantheon i can get divine spark which is going to give us more great people points and i i think we can really just kind of snowball out of control uh with our culture game now the other reason i kind of want to do religious is if russia's in the game or something like that we may end up having to switch to a religious game a uh, religious victory type uh or even if we have to do a score victory type having that religion is going to help me a lot so we're going to play it by ear we may end up deciding after a couple episodes nah we need to go religious but we'll see how it how it goes the other thing with brazil I think Sean's done, so we can turn the music back on. But uh, the other thing with Brazil is they have Amazon rainforest tiles. Get plus one adjacency bonus for campus, commercial hubs, holy sites, blah, 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 blah. They also give you plus one housing. This is great early game because you can get some pretty sick uh, 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 districts. The downside with it is, especially if we're doing a cultural victory, the uh, rainforest give you negative appeal. So if we're on the coast or something like that, we're going to have to rip up these rainforests. We also might end up chopping them for uh, potential wonders, but we'll see how that works. Um, let's go ahead and begin the game. Let's see our start. And ugh, This is going to be an interesting start. We uh, Lots of two twos, though, and we have the early dies. We might just go settle on the dies right away. It's also going to give us one faith. Yeah, I think we're going to go settle on you right away. Uh, but let's also look at Brazil before we get too far into it. Brazil gives us also the Minas Gerais, I think is how I heard it pronounced. I'll have to go back and watch the video again. Uh, essentially, it's an upgrade to the battleship, and I think it's still the highest ranged attack unit in the game, which is awesome because that means my walls are going to have higher attack than anyone else, a uh, ranged attack at least. And then we also get then the unique uh, entertainment district and a unique uh, uh, water park. So we have the Street Carnival and we have the Copacabana. Wait, 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 wait. Copa... 
the Copa Cabana. Copa Cabana. So we get plus two amenities. We get one amenity as soon as we start building it, and we get great people points when it's done. So that's gonna be nice for us. So we're gonna go ahead and hop on the dies right away. That's gonna allow us to sell off our die. Um, we have a ton of rainforest here, which may or may not be good. We're also gonna get the boost for settling on the coast for what it's worth. Other thing to note is I'm going to be a little risky with our build orders. Normally, I tend to be very conservative and I go straight into like archery and try getting archers as early on as possible to avoid uh, the AI. Well, basically to help us survive an AI inevitable attack. Said this time we're going to be a little more aggressive. I think I'm actually going to go straight for astrology right away because we want the holy sites. I don't think we're going to be able to have a stonehenge. There's no stone around, so that's not going to happen for us. Um, but we do want that religion early on if possible. The other thing is we're probably going to try rushing out settlers early on. And we're also going to try buying settlers. Um, but we'll probably end up starting with a warrior. I was watching some other people play and apparently warriors are better at... Uh, convincing the AI not to declare war on you than uh, slingers early on. So even though slingers and archers tend to be a lot better for us, I think we're still going to end up rolling with uh, a warrior first. So I could do a scout. The problem is, I don't know what's out here. If I knew what was out here and I knew, hey, we don't have any enemy players until you go like way the heck over here, then hell yeah, let's do a scout. But there could be someone literally like right here on us. And if that's the case, we need the warriors to survive. So that's why I'm going to end up going with the warrior, even though it's going to be a little less um, fun early on. So we do have a nice little river here. We're probably going to want to stick with this river. I think let's go here because we might be able to see what's over here. But we want to stay near the river because our first city is going to actually be on the river. Um, we do want to find a uh, fellow player here soon-ish so we can uh, trade off our, our, our whatever we pick up. Whatever we ended up having on the style, the dies. So we can trade that off. It's not going to give us enough for a settler, but if we can maybe go settle on this die, then maybe we have a potential. Uh, we'll maybe make enough money then to sell it, but we'll see. So we'll go here. Okay, that's perfect. Let's go grab this then. And maybe they will grant me a scout. That would be wonderful. I don't know. We'll see. I should probably put my headphones in so I can actually hear. <laughs> uh, also, the other thing is I didn't actually see what we're working on. 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, I mean, it's all pretty standard. So we are going to finish both of these in five turns, which then means in five turns we'll be working another 2-2. Two, two. It's a, decent, go it's a decent start. If we had enough gold, we could uh, grab the bananas, but... I'm actually going to take you here instead. Now let's go here. Lots of hills, so we're going to get really decent production then. Yeah, especially if we put a city over here. We're going to have really good production. So, I'm okay with this start. I'm okay. I don't think we need to restart. We may still end up getting our butts kicked here early on, depending on where everyone else is. But, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to go back this way, because once again, I want to stick to this river. Military tradition. We got plus one error score. Heck yeah. What did we get? Oh, we got a boost towards military tradition. Gotcha. Uh, okay. <laughs> Not my favorite. Not my favorite one. I'll be honest. Now, the question is, do we finish astrology or do we hope that we find a natural wonder? Good question. Very good question, actually. I'm hoping we're going to find one here pretty quickly and we're not going to have to worry about it. Um, let's take a quick look at Settler. There's another city over here. Mm hmm. Okay, so someone is here. That is probably bad. No, nope, it's press love. Okay, so it's a city state. That's fine. Were we the first one to meet you? Oh. <gasps> okay. Okay. What did they give us? Plus two production when producing units. Boom. That's nice. That's nice. And we're the first one to meet them, which means there's no other AI nearby. So we could potentially pop out a settler next. A monument might not be bad either, although it's not boosted right now, where the scout actually would be. It's going to get a slight boost since we have press love. I think maybe we can do with the scout. Mm -hmm. I think I think that's what we're going to try. I'm trying to go as far as possible right now because I'm trying to find this natural wonder is what I'm really looking for. Uh, potential co- Ooh, what is this? This is another city state. Another city state. Okay, we're going to send you up over in this way. No barbarians nearby, which is good. Oh, maybe we just go straight settler then? Yeah, now screw that. Let's go straight settler then. Do we end up on a continent map? We might have. This looks like a um, military. No, a production city. Yeah, Hong Kong. Were we the first one? Dude. <laughs> that is so awesome, man. 
Heck yeah. Okay, so wonders that we want to get, we definitely want to grab Oracle because buying units is going to be 25% cheaper. We have enough Rainforest that we should be able to do this. Where would we put a city here? Our river ends right here. I was looking at right here because of the horses. But the lack of housing kind of sucks. I think instead we want to go up here with it. Mm-hmm. The other thing with these city-states is we could easily declare war on them and conquer them for early cities. We would need archers for that, though. Yeah, I think we definitely go up here with our city. Hopefully we can find some fresh water. Um, let's keep looking at settlers. So there's no one up here yet. So, so far it looks like we have an island to ourselves, which is going to be great for a cultural thing. Downside is if we don't have the natural wonder. Do we need to fin- man, I still feel like we have to finish this off. I just don't want to waste turnage on it. This is where I should like totally like spawn in before you guys see it and then type in reveal all and then see where I need to go just to get my wonders. <laughs> uh, but that'd be cheating, right? So that's also too why I end up loading in the game so you guys know that I'm not like cheesing it like you literally saw that I have no idea what we're doing right now or where we're going okay I think I might want to put a second city down on this marble then that's yeah, fresh water too how's it fresh water there must be a river but this is all fresh water there must be a river right here and this must be the coast hmm okay we could Nah. I still think we go on the marble no matter what so we're not going to get... I think we finished Astrology. I think we have to. Yeah. The unfortunate part... Now, we'll be at two population. We won't be at three population, though, when we actually try building our holy site. We'll knock out the holy site. As soon as Code of Laws is finished, we'll go into foreign trade. We are already boosted, so we did discover a second continent. We'll also get boosted for mysticism. So we should just be straight good to go on this route. Uh, after Astrology, I think we have to get up to bronze working. Reason for that is I need to be able to chop Rainforest so we can finish um, our Oracle. Because our goal is to get an early Oracle. Like I said, we're not going to be able to get um, Stonehenge. So uh, our religion is going to have to come from the Holy Site. Now, the weird thing is, after this city, we're going to be in... We're going to have four turns. Probably end up using four of those turns to build ourselves a Builder. And then we need to switch over and get Astrology. We m no, 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 yeah, we're not going to have enough turns to get it, so. Unless we can get a free builder here, that would just be amazing. But I don't think that's going to happen. So, I'm okay with this start. This start ends up working out really well for us. Uh, also, since it seems like no one's near us, we can be very uh, a aggressive with our cities. What did we end up getting? We got us another civ boost, early empire. I'm okay with that. At his best, man is the noblest of all animals. I'm okay with that. We also haven't heard any Separated barbarians popping yet. So we're going to be at 25 here really quickly, which is awesome. Uh, you're going to go settle up here. I was looking at appeal earlier. Dang it. <laughs> Every time, Brian. Every freaking time. Okay, never mind. Hello. Ooh, there's a wonder over here. There is a natural wonder over here. Yep. Whatever's giving science and faith over here, there's definitely a natural wonder. So we're going to go over, up over this way. I want you to come back up over here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try getting myself a builder because we need to have the builder to chop. When we go, we don't need to chop. We might chop out the holy site or have a ridiculously good holy site in this banana. Let's see. So we get it plus one for every rainforest. So if we put it right here, we're going to have to go one two three now here's the thing we actually can't even build this stonehenge now that i think about it or build the holy site until we chop rainforest so maybe i should have gone with mine first it really doesn't matter in the scheme of things it's just kind of your build order so we can't do stonehenge for a little or a uh, holy site for a little bit so yeah i think let's grab the builder and then we might end up grabbing another warrior although grabbing the culture might be good too with the monument Let's go with this for now, and let's see what happens. 
We are uh, going to be in plenty, like, this is going to be a really good defensive area for us. Fantastic landscape. Heck yeah, dude. All around, Plus one faith and science. We have to settle on this. A physician without a... Yeah, we have to. I want to settle on the stone. Ridiculously good tiles, dude. Ridiculously good tiles. Someone's over here. No, we can't settle because it's a mountain, though. <laughs> so he should charge into me. And he's going to take quite a bit of damage. Question is, where do I want to settle? We could still settle here, but we're not going to get this stuff. If I settle here, then we could actually work the marble because we'll have mining. Yeah. Yeah, we can't build... Oh, we can actually build a holy site down here. Hmm. It's plus three. Because it's by one mountain, and it's got two dudes here. Is that worth it? Or do we wait for us to be able to chop? How long is it going to take? 7 plus 26. We need to kill three barbarians. Ugh. We might end up just putting it there just to get it up. Yeah. It's going to cost quite a bit of gold. I think we hold off. I think we definitely want to finish the builder before we go any further. And we definitely want to get this uh, amenities, the marble. That's going to give us culture, too. Well, yeah. yeah. God, these tiles are so good. And we can also then work this stone, which is going to be ridiculously good. That's going to be a 2-3-2-2. Two, two, two. That's stupid. No. Yeah, we settle here because we can actually uh, work this stone. And then eventually, if... We could harvest the stone, too, if we want to put a wonder up there. But yeah, so let's get us, let's get our settler up here. I'm that city state's been defeated. Don't care. I'm gonna wait one more turn, because that's gonna heal us a little bit. He'll hit us, and then we should be able to kill him. Uh, if I hit him now, he might run away, and I don't want him to run away. Now, I'm a little questioning why he has a horseman. So there might be someone else around over there, and that's why. And we'll go explore up here. There might be someone else up here uh, that triggered the scout, and that's why he spawned out some horsemen, but I don't know for a fact. So yeah, let's get the builder, and then we're going to switch over to the holy site. Alright, or he just suicides into me. That's perfect. Score. There's a scout. God, this place is so good, dude. Maybe we actually want to settle here. We won't be able to get the marble right away. But... <laughs> I mean, well, like, does that matter? It's only one tile off. Yeah, I think we actually go there, then. I'm a, I am stoked that we're starting near a natural wonder. Downside is we did waste a couple extra turns on astrology that we didn't have to. So, had we known <laughs> that there was a natural wonder there, we could have skipped it. But, oh well. It is what it is. A couple turns here or there is never going to screw you over. It's when you're missing like 10, 20 turns. That's when things become a problem. All right, we found the encampment. Why did you get the horse? You might want another city over here. Actually. So you can go four away. One, two, three, four. So if we put a city here, one, two, three, four, we can actually then settle on the citrus. And I think we actually want to do that. Although, no, this is terrible housing. So if we go there, one, two, three. I still don't know. I think we actually do do this. I think we go here. I think we put another city right up here on the coast. We got a couple more turns to decide, so. Ugh. Okay. This is a very interesting map. We're completely boxed in up here. So, Preslev and Hong Kong are mine. I will always have these cities. Are their bonuses worth it? Points 20% production towards city projects. I can't kill Hong Kong. Plus two loyalty per turn in cities for each encampment district. I can kill Preslov. We could kill off Preslov, although we're about to become suzerain. <laughs> How do we get another? Oh, we must have done whatever he wanted. His uh quest. Early on, we don't have to just kill him. I, but that 20% production bonus towards city projects is nice. It really is. The plus production towards units, eh. I don't really care so much about military districts. 
Okay, so we want to take you up here because we want the stone. And we got, um, got our Pantheon. We should be one of the first ones to have the Pantheon. I think, what's one Faith from Adjacent Rainforest Tiles? Yeah, yeah, I know. We have to do Divine Spark, though. Because it's all about great people. This is... I still think we do Divine Spark. This helps us rest of the game. This one is so good early on. So good early on. Because our Holy Sight here is going to be a plus, what was it, three? But then it would be a plus five. Which is going to give us a ridiculous amount of faith. The thing is, I want Great Spark. Because Great Spark is going to allow me to get every one of these people throughout, you know, rest of the game. And the thing is, like I said, these Rainforest Tiles are great early on, but long term, they don't help us. And we already basically have that bonus right now. As Brazil, we already have Sacred Bath. All we're doing is just doubling that bonus. But, like, all of this stuff, like, look, at all of this stuff is going to be eventually, like, let's look at Appeal real quick. It's still pretty decent, um, but we're probably going to want to end up ripping it all up because it's just lowering appeal. Like, the fact that we have terrible appeal over here, I think it's because of the rainforest. I think Divine Spark. I think I'm Divine Spark. I know some of you guys are going to absolutely hate it. Harvesting a resource or removing a feature gives faith. So we could get a bunch of faith every time we um, remove the rainforest. I think, I think Divine Spark is universally agreed as one of the best Pantheons, and I think it synergizes so well with what we're trying to do. That's why I think we have to get it. So, I'm sorry, but yeah. And we're gonna go here. We're gonna get the plus three. I'd much rather go there and get the plus one, uh, two, three, four, five, but I wouldn't be able to get it for another... 26 plus 3 turns, so yeah. Although we're about to get a huge boost to science here. Yeah, we're about to get a huge boost to science. Still. We're about to double our science. That's still going to be 13 turns plus another 2. So, yeah. It is what it is. What did we end up getting? We got another boost. What, what was our other boost? Masonry. Yeah, because we didn't actually build the quarry yet. So we want here. That's going to give me one, two, three, four. Yeah, we're still good. So right there. Next turn, you're going to be able to get that. You are going to go work on the stone. Everything's great. You're going to go beat these guys down. Let's heal. Let's get you back to full HP. I'm surprised you didn't get that much XP. I guess attacking gets you more XP than defending. I actually have no idea about that. You'd think I should know that by now, but... Mm -mm. I think we send you all the way back down here. We don't need you anymore. I was worried about the horsemen, and then I was kind of intrigued to see what was over here. We might not actually be able to get over here. You can't go that way, despite what the game's telling me. So I think let's just get to the bottom and see what's up. We might want to look at getting a Quadream here before too long, or a Galley, but we'll see. I'll hit you once. Yeah, that gave me 5 XP. We only had 6 XP from 2 hits. So, by that math then, we only got 3 for defending and we got 5 for attacking. Interesting. Did not know that. Alright, settle time. Air score. Boom. Now, we're probably going to end up in a Dark Age because we have no neighbors. <laughs> so it's going to be kind of hard for us to uh, uh, get enough arrow points, arrow score. Uh, we want the Monument because our culture is going to fall a little bit behind right now. And we don't have to worry about units right now. We more. seem to be fine. So, yeah, you just go over there. Uh, we got the Mining, so then you're supposed to be working on Bronze Working. Uh, you then are also grabbing me. The two, two, two. They're the same. Yeah, they're literally the same, so it doesn't matter. Well, the thing is, I was hoping for neighbors so we could sell off some of our amenities and make a bunch of money in the early game, but apparently that's not going to happen. Wait one turn, and then we should be able to kill you. I'm a little concerned about him spawning out another unit, though, so. 
This should give us, yeah, I was going to say, this should give us a promotion. Um, doesn't look like we're going to get the kill, though. How much HP? I wish you could actually see how much HP a unit has. We're at 45. And we have slightly more than him, so he has about 40. Uh, when units that have equal combat strength attack, you're going to do approximately 30 damage, but there's like a 25% variable in it. So we could do up to like 38 damage on him. So if he's at 40 HP, he's always going to have HP left, I guess. is kind of what I'm going for. But if this is just accounting for like... There's still a chance that we might be able to actually kill him. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, the Kree. Okay. Okay. Honored to meet you. Would love to sample your hospitality. I'm okay with this. Although, he's immediately blocking us in. Which is a bit of a problem. He'd give me 7 gold. 7, 14. So, he'd give me 210 gold for this. That's a problem, because... Plus the error score. Because we got a holy site. Sweet. And then we met Kree, so we got plus one error score, too. I don't know if I want to trade with him right away. Is he going to be able to attack this guy? Yes. He has a 24 combat strength. I think we hold off. I don't think he can kill him. If I can't kill him... Because I'm attacking at 30 right now. If I can't kill him, there's no way he can get the kill. Now, this is a little interesting because we're a bit blocked in. I still think we trade with him. I think we take everything he has. And then we get, like, three gold here. Four. It's not as much gold as I would like, but it'll do for now. And we're also going to be able to get the marble here in a little bit, too. So if we meet someone else, we can trade that off. I don't care about the shrine because we should be able to get our um, great profit here fairly quickly because we're making two per turn. It says zero, but we're making two because we're making one for the holy site and then one for divine spark. Uh, so then in that case, let's go ahead and switch out and let's get ourselves another settler. We are working for in trade. I'd still like to get to mysticism. We're a little bit far away. Ooh, you know what? We're at 111. We can't buy a monument. It might be better for us to knock out the monument, actually. Because that's going to give me more culture, which is going to allow me to get to the wonder quicker. Downside is I still think we need another settler. Yeah. Yeah. I obviously am not going to want to settle down here. So if we do settle again, it's going to be over here somewhere. Or, like I said, we could also settle right there. That's what I was hoping for. Thank you. Never mind, you're coming back. <laughs> you're coming back to deal with this guy. Before he starts spawning out units on my butt. Okay, you go work the tile here. Then I think you go work the marble. And I think we put another city right here. Yeah, yeah, I think that's where we have to go with it. So we're a little boxed in, but I think we're still fine. Monument, we do want, but we're going to be okay. Stonehenge got finished. Yeah, it was always going to get finished before we could do it. You're a ridiculously powerful tile now. I love it. Then you go get the marble. It's going to be a great city long term to like produce a wonder or whatever. We might actually want to build the oracle here. Yeah. Yeah, we might actually want to do that. So foreign trade, how long is mysticism? 15 turns. Not bad. Not bad. I would love a little more culture right now, but that's not going to happen. Go ahead and promote. I think these guys are going to be fairly safe, too. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Press level is going to... The city states might go kill him. So, yeah, please, bring his HP down so I can just immediately kill him. Um, Let's get you, and then I'm probably going to take... Our worker and go explore. Uh, we'll see. You love me, right? You don't love me. You should love me. As soon as I sell him the marble, he should be a pretty good friend to me. And we might be able to... Which, actually, we might want to look at getting another warrior. Just to kind of keep him from thinking about declaring war. 
If we can get a trader out up too, that would be good as well, which we could. Probably build a trader, I think, next. Let's go with that. This is a very interesting map. This is not what I was expecting. Uh, thank you for the gold. Perfect. I don't really want to buy... How much gold do you have? I still don't think you have a lot of gold. You have 98 gold. You're making five gold per turn, so you're gonna be at like, what, 103 next turn? So the most we're gonna make off of this would be 103, which is gonna put us at 30310. A settler is gonna be 440. So my other option is to purchase a trader. The reason for that, how long is it going to take to build a trader? Nine turns. If I purchase a trader, we can send it to Kree. He's going to like me. The thing is, I don't need a trader for him to like me because if we sell him the marble, he'll like me. I think he should like me at that point. At least he should like me enough that he won't declare war on me. So then let's hold on to the gold we have. We could buy another builder, which is going to help us chop for the wonder. Yeah, yeah, let's do it that way. We'll build a trader here probably next in six turns. Maybe here. We got four turns left on that. Question is really do where do we want to build the, um, the Oracle? And I don't actually know which city we want to build it in. I'm going to send you back up this way, just in case. God, so slow, man. So slow going right now. What are you working, by the way? Your size t two. So you should be working these two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. So we're making tons of faith right now. And how goes... Someone has a religion because they built Stonehenge. We should be schooling everyone else when it comes, though, to the great people points. Profit. Yeah, we're at 12. No one else says anything. So we'll get a great profit then in um, 38. So 19 turns. I'm going to go send you this way. Do a little exploration. Send you down this way. Another really freaking awesome tile. How the freaking heck do I get you? <laughs> okay. Um, One, two, three, four. We could go settle on the furs. Yeah. I could also buy out this tile. Whoops, by the way, I was supposed to trade with you. Two? Sure. Making really good money right now. I could buy out this tile and then put my city there. Wait. Oh no, I can't build on that tile, can I? If I can buy to it, I can't put a settler there. Crap! Ugh. We're actually going to lose loyalty over here. That should be okay. We'll keep an eye out. We might end up buying this fur tile because that is a ridiculously good tile. Three, three, two, three, one. <laughs> like, what the hell? And then you're going to put a, um, uh, uh, a, a camp, which is going to give you plus gold, plus housing, plus production, plus gold, plus food. Like, oh my gosh. I cannot lose that tile, just FYI. He shouldn't have any gold to be able to buy out to it, so we should be fine. We could do plantation. Plantation doesn't really help me. We can chop rainforest now. Yep. I think we go for archery. We could do masonry because we started it. Do we see any iron? Of course we didn't. I never get iron. What game do I... When have I ever played a Civ game and I actually got iron? Someone explain that to me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I want to get you up here just to protect my borders. So we actually can't get around this way. I wonder if there's a pathway through here. This is a bit awkward. We're a bit trapped. We're a bit trapped for sure. But we have a really freaking awesome spot here. 
Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna be okay. Because remember, we can come kill these guys at any point if we want to get a couple extra cities. We might end up needing to do that. Nope. Can't go there. Dang. We could also go work the furs right now. And that's going to give me a lot more food than I'm getting. We're six turns away from starting our wonder. We have to get Oracle. That one's important for us. Um, other thing is, I wonder about putting a city down over here. I am fond of pigs. Kumasai. So he's going for Kumasai. Dang. I needed you, dude. I wish I would have met you first, because I'd much rather have the culture right now. You're going to die, though. I wonder, I might be able to steal it. Probably not. God, we're in such a weird map. It's so freaking boxed in. Oi. I have to go way up here now. No, no, yeah, that's where we're always going to go. I think it's okay. We'll grab early empire so we can get the governor. By the time we actually get our settler all the way up there, I think we're fine. Only five per. Wait, why are you... No. No, no, no. What? Okay, game. Yeah, it's gonna take a long time to actually get up there. Sure, we'll go look over here. Or we go get the furs. Nah, I think let's explore. Eh, never mind. We have him right here. Why are you saying you can go that way? There's no way in hell you can go that way, dude. <laughs> I think we go this way. I think we go like this. Okay, so then we have four turns. We can easily knock out a trader. We can also knock out a shrine, which gives us one more great po uh, person point per turn. Or we grab a monument, which gives us a little extra culture. I think we do the culture. We did finish our mine up here. That's freaking five, dude. Oof. The issue is, there's not too many other places for us to put a settler down. Like, we have one tile right here. It's actually not losing appeal, or, um... Loyalty. I just feel like that's going to make him a lot more aggressive towards me if we do do it there. Okay, so let's do a warrior then. Because I don't want him to declare war on me. So let's start there. And where did my color go? I feel like I'm in a dark age right now. We also need to wrap this episode up. He's going after Kumasai. There we go. We might be able to jack it. Or at least stop him from taking it. Because if I can move into that tile... I can stop him from taking it. I don't think we'll be able to, but, you know, we can try. He will have open borders, so he can move through me. We're going to move here, and we're going to try blocking him so he can't move through my stuff. Um, and I still think we go this way. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I just want to move in there and just stop him from taking Kumasai. Because that's going to hinder him. That's the big thing. Uh, okay, well, we're going to have to sit here and wait for a turn. If I can move my warrior there, then we can. Uh, I don't think he can pass through my capital. I can't pass through him, so he shouldn't be able to pass through me, right? You now... can clearly see you can't go that way. What the heck, game? <laughs> Ugh, I don't understand. Move out. Ah, he leveled. He's going and settling to the right. That's good. Happy game. I literally am being boxed in right now. Uh, okay, game. Hey, game. Can you not box me in? That would be wonderful. He's going to attack again, so we'll have a turn to do this. You're going to skip because we still can't do anything because he's moving and blocking me. 
Mysticism is the perfect. All right, let's take you here. Let's put you back there. Question is, where do we want to build the Oracle? So we got 42 turns in here because our production's fairly bad over here. Or we got 25. Okay, I think we do the 25 clearly. Uh, is there a particular area we want to go? I think we go here. Because if we put a theater square there, we're going to get one, two, three, four, five adjacency bonus. Our bonus does provide uh, bonuses to theater squares, right? Campus, commercial hub, holy sites, theater squares. So I think our theater square there is going to be better. Oh, you're the you're just the dude. Yeah, 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 you're fine. And then here. Here's the other option. We put it here. Theater square goes here. It only gets a one, two bonus. And then commercial hub here. Or, no, 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 theater square here, commercial hub here. It's still going to be on the river. We can actually then put the uh, harbor there. Our harbor is going to suck wherever it goes. Yeah, I still think that's better. I think we go here with it. So now we have to, even though we're almost, uh, we almost have enough to buy, I think we have to buy a builder. I don't think he can take my builder, right? He shouldn't be able to. So we don't want to tear up any of these guys. So we're going to start by tearing you up. I think that'll be good. What tiles are we currently working? You, you, and you. Yeah. We could also go grab the bananas, which I think is going to give us... What if we improve? Gold. Yeah. Good, but not what I need. And then we want early empire, because we're going to have loyalty issues here. Before too long. I don't really know what to do with you. <laughs> I kind of want you to go both directions, to be honest. I almost still feel like we try grabbing you. What? Why? <sighs> oh, because you can't go that way. That's why. That makes sense. And then Envoy. We could become Suzerain. Don't matter. I would love to get plus two culture right now. With Kumasai. Kumasi. I think it's Kumasi, isn't it? Yeah, it's probably Kumasi. I would love to actually get the culture with it. The downside is if the AI ends up taking it. Well, here's the thing. They can only attack with one warrior at a time. So there's no way they're ever going to be able to conquer the city. Because it's going to gain 20 HP. Yeah, it's gaining 20 HP per turn. And the city has a combat garrison strength of 24. Which means he's going to do less than 30 damage. Uh, most likely probably less than 20. So he is down 5 HP. But the thing is, since it's a hill, too, it's going to take a turn. Like, he'll attack one more time. He'll be able to bring it down probably 26 or so. It'll heal 20, so it'll be at, like, negative 10. Then he's going to have to move his warrior away and move another warrior there. He's not going to be able to attack for a turn, though, so that's going to give it another turn to actually level up. So I don't think he can actually take Kumasai for a while. So I think we go grab our extra culture boost right now. I would love to get an extra two culture right now. I think that's worth it. Okay, we're going to wrap this first episode up here, so a bit of an interesting one. We are uh, completely boxed in for the most part. <laughs> However, uh, we still have a really, really good start because we have one of the best wonders right on our butt. So that is nice. We also are extremely defensible, so if the AI ever does declare war on us, they're going to have a hard time conquering us. So there is that going for us too. Question is whether or not we're going to be able to actually get out here uh, to get another city. And... The thing is, once I do put it, if I do put a city here, he's going to immediately think about declaring war on me. Which is why I need to get a trader going. Oh yeah, I'm building a warrior there. So you go kill that guy. And then after the trade, uh, we'll want to put a trader here then after that. We could actually just buy it. It's going to use all my gold. Our cities, man, we're such a bad spot for cities. We might just need to have to shift and come conquer these guys. We can also settle here. It's not fresh water, though. But I think that's why we have to go here. It's also going to give us really good access to the furs pretty early on. And then it's going to get the rice right away, too. I might actually want to just go sit on that city. Yeah, I might just want to go sit on it just to make sure that they don't go settle it. 
that might be better. I think we do go over there. I think that's where we go with our uh, next city. It's going to make him a little more likely to declare war on us, which is why we need the warrior. But then that's why I think we go ahead and grab the trader right away. And the thing is, after this warrior, we can go grab another settler here. Yeah, I think that's what we do. So for now, I hope you guys are enjoying it. Since it's a new series, any support you can show it uh, does wonders. So go ahead and like, comment, let me know what you guys think, and also hit that subscribe button. Also, too, remember, uh, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I hope you guys are having a great day. So I'll see you guys next uh, episode. Bye. Hey everybody, just want to let you guys know that today we released a brand new video on advanced tutorials for Civilization 6. So I'd love it if you guys would go check out that video, show your support there, and let me know what you guys think. So thank you.